Lions Den powered by KCB Bank Going into the den are two entrepreneurs who believe they have a revolutionary online payment platform Hi I'm Tony Nyabutobuya My name is Jessica Bur <coughs> at Brilliant Innovations Limited our aim is to bring conveniency and enhance efficiency in the payment system our client customer segment is online commerce platforms owners of SMEs and heads of revenue and procurement in the county governments. Brilliant Pay is an online management fund system which entails a payment gateway and an escrow service. We have an online platform which where two people can meet. They can agree on the terms and conditions and the money can be transferred to our Brilliant Pay escrow account and then once the goods arrive then the money can be released. So we we are game changer in this industry. Yeah, and that's why we are asking for 3 million in exchange for 12.5%. So is the thing operational or you're still thinking about Actually, it? it's operational. Currently we have one client we're integrating by end of next week. We have four more clients in our waiting list. So how do you charge for your services? We charge on commissions between 3% and 3.5 of every money that passes through our, our product. Why would I pay through Brilliant pay. Normally what happens, uh, probably if, you, if you're in a marketplace model, there is a buyer, there is a seller. The funds for the buyer, they are put in some uh, holding account and it involves lawyers and a lot of fees and trips to the bank and whatnot. So what you are trying to do is to automate the system to make sure that the approvals and uh, the due diligence for the goods or products are confirmed before the money goes to the seller. A law firm will still be doing the due diligence on either buyer or seller? Um, what happens is that if a dispute arises, let's say, um, between the buyer and the seller, that's when we will involve a third party to settle, the, um, to deal with the, anything to do with the legal side of it. Let's say someone says that they, they, they agreed on something and probably the other parties disagree. So the funds will be held until the two parties. Okay, so are as there. a last resort. As a last okay. resort. And yeah. but is is your model not a bit PayPal like? Yeah, yes, it is. But now the beauty of it is that we have we have, you have you have scaled up our functionality to include the escrow part of it. One of the things I'm seeing we're going to have a bit of a challenge with is is credibility. If they don't trust the company, why would they trust a name that they don't really know or isn't like a global name compared to like PayPal, for example? We are starting locally first before we scale up to international. Darshan has questioned the credibility of the brand's power in the marketplace. Can their entrepreneurs prove that their company is worthy of an investment? What's the difference? I mean, if, if you're going to buy a property, you're going to use a lawyer anyway on both sides, and they don't charge an interest for that. Uh, normally, there are lawyer charges. With real estate, there are a lot of players and there is a lot of uh, background things that go on. That's why we have a lot of issues with uh, title deeds being fake. So we're trying to cover a bit of that problem with the escrow system. Our aim is not to act as lawyers. Our aim is to provide a platform where two people can meet and trade as easy as possible. So the lawyers come in mostly in case a dispute arises. No, I, I understood that part, but I was just the, the buying and selling of property. I still don't quite see the additional. Actually, what we are selling ourselves is the APIs. So we'll give you a payment gateway and an escrow service, so you can use whatever you want. Um, I've seen quite a number of payment gateways and payment systems coming on. So it's really what you've created is an online escrow system. Maybe you want to take, take me back a bit and explain why you feel there's an opportunity for county governments. There are a lot of uh, projects the county does. These projects, a lot of money is lost along the way. So we are trying to bridge this gap by uh, encouraging the smaller governments to have their money, their funds and uh, projects managed by Brilliant Pay escrow system so that uh, the right money goes to the right buy in the right amount. Okay, guys, I'm really hearing a mix of a a gateway, a cash, uh, a, a sort of a cashless system, a mini ERP, um, this whole escrow arrangement. Now, 
this as, let's take an example if i was dealing with one of mike's companies and i had no idea being locally based i'd make a few phone calls and find out and then make a decision as to whether i should deal with him or not because effectively even when i come through you and we i do the verification i still have to give the money to his company right it's not really clear that there's a unique untapped uh, requirement for this i'm just not able to understand or see from everything that you've mentioned so for that reason i'm out Darshan is the first to pull out. The entrepreneurs have been failed to convince him of the value in brilliant pay. Valuation of 24 million. Why 24 million? How did you get come up with that figure? Uh with the valuation, we are looking at the the clients we have right now. We have that one confirmed client. How much is going to spend with you? Uh roughly long? around 200,000 in a day in Over transactions. We are we are testing for 6 months with him. So these are not guaranteed they hope to see whether the system works then they'll come on board or how is uh, actually it's us who have uh, started with this one first so that we can bridge some loops before we get them on board so we wouldn't want to give them a a system that's that has some loopholes okay i think for that reason i think because of the uncertainty of of the product yeah it's too early to ask for this kind of money uh for an investor because we're not sure that it's going to work or not i'm out I'd want to see you serve, you know, 5 10 clients over a period of time to see whether they'll stick with you because they might realize they're spending quite a lot of money and whether they find it's worth what you're doing or not. I'm out. Just on the comments. You know, we we have to start somewhere. To we need the investment so that you can be able to scale our product. With our first client, we have already signed the contract. On average, he handles about um f- more than a thousand transactions daily so it's something that we know that is going to make it and we know it's going to work but you know just the way um tony here says that you're sort of holding back to sign with the other clients because there might be some loopholes you see that's not something that you that an investor wants to hear right so for me i'm out because i don't want to invest in a business that possibly has loopholes on this loopholes you're talking about these are card payments we there are some certifications we need to have before we can handle card payments so the bank we are partnering with kcb bank kcb is offering us the escrow the escrow system we were talking with a, a firm in uh, lavington they are doing their assessment so they gave us a rough estimate of the amounts so we would like to at least do this assessment so that we can be able to cover this uh the card payments to be able to bring these other clients on board because most of their clients pay using card this is an untapped market um we we have we have a good team we have um we have all it takes you have the technical skill we put you up in business development you see the technical bit of it i understand yes i recognize some of my colleagues may not know this space very well i understand this space very well yes. the only new thing that you've in, in put in there if you take jumbo pay which is one of your competitors your only differentiator is escrow true or false true true okay yeah so let's focus on that and in the escrow market i i just i'm not seeing the big value because if i'm going to buy property i won't buy it through an online platform I, i won't make my payments through an online platform for the escrow i'd go to a lawyer we want to cut you the time you go to the lawyer so we want to make the 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 the, the buying and selling process as quick as possible unless there's complications that when you go to the lawyer so let's say but i'm not looking for speed when it's property or some high value thing i'm looking for speed maybe if i'm buying a shoes from amazon or yes. something so help me understand how that part of the market or that opportunity is going to grow so we are offering an escrow api as well so this escrow api will be uh, integrated to online marketplaces an example of one of our waiting clients is a freelance platform so this this platform will be able to integrate the escrow system because freelancers work with there is a willing buyer willing seller and the escrow system what do you see your revenues being in 2018 uh, we are looking at revenues of around 9.63 million and that would constitute a profit of what that's a profit of 60% so which 5.6 is, yeah Wow. 
wanted three million. Yes. You see, your pre-revenue and your pre-fully tested and finished POC. You're about to start your proof of concept in terms of the live environment, correct? Yes. I'll offer you three million, but for thirty-three percent. So we've uh, talked a bit, and we are seeing thirty-three percent is a bit high. How about we come to twenty-five? Thirty. Take thirty. That's a deal. The person we targeted most when he came here was Chris because of his networks and he can be able to open up our client's call. They seem to be talking to serious partners, you know, KCB, IKM. The escrow, nobody has. Mm -hmm. But the rest of the stuff is there. With the escrow system, when you've bought, I've sent the money, but the money is in escrow until you deliver to specification. If you don't, I send the goods back, the money is not released, and you would send back. Lion's Den, powered by KCB Bank.